Okay, so now what we have here is a value meal. <laughs> we have um our little a little cheeseburger right here, along with some fries. And today you're gonna learn how to build these. How to build this? Sorry. So <clears throat> let's start with the hamburger first. Okay. So now you want to do a three by three base. Just like that. Then on top of it, you want to do a 5x5 five five base. Does not matter if it's hollow or not. If it is hollow, then no one's going to notice. So, now that we got the bun, the second thing, well, it doesn't really matter in which order you put these on, but, yeah. But okay, for the bun, I chose wood out of these four. For the lettuce, you can choose any one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what we have is just like um uh, clay and we have clay and concrete here, then we have wool, glass, leaves, emerald blocks, slime blocks, and dark prismarite. Um, for the cheese and the fries, just do sponges. Sponges. Oh, and by the way, this goes for the buns and the burger inside. Um, for ketchup, you have these five options. I just prefer redstone blocks and whatever that is. And this is for the pickles and the little outside of this. Well, that's just what I prefer. Dark prismarite. I mean, for the, for this outside thing, you can use anything. But anyway, back to building. So, how was so? It doesn't matter in which order you put on the toppings, as long as you know the buns are on the top and the bottom, and the burger is somewhere in the mar and somewhere in the middle. But I like. I would like to put. The the lettuce on next. So, like I said, you could use any of these blocks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mix of emerald and slime blocks. So first, you want to get out this. If you're doing a mix, you want to have start out with one. Then you want to break off and. You don't want to make it look like a pattern. You want to make it look truly random. <sighs> eh, that's not. Yeah, <sighs> that looks patternish too. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Now I just want to go around and break random blocks. Then we fill them in with the block they were. Because burgers are not supposed to be all nice and fancy. They're supposed to be a little messy. And this also allows little holes for you to put the ketchup later on. But um, now that we got that, we just want to have a little bit of ones going off of the burger. Yeah, that looks perfect. So boom, we have our lettuce. Next up, the cheese. Oh wow, I just realized you could use blocks of gold. Huh. So I guess you could use blocks of gold for the fries and for the cheese, but... But as I did on the last one, I'm going to use sponges. Although you could use blocks of gold, too. Okay. So, now, just make a platform out of sponges like that. So it's exactly the width of the bun. 
And then you kind of just want to break random blocks and then reef and then put random blocks sticking out. So now we have that. It's all nice and fancy, but... Okay, I think that looks good. And maybe we'll wreck a little bit more. Actually, you know what? Now nah, that looks good. Boom, now we got our cheese on the burger. So the next thing is the meat. And we could use any four of these as long, except for the one we used. And we used uh, wood for the bun, so we're going to have to use something else. And I prefer the... The terracotta. Terracotta? Yeah, terracotta. That's what you call it, I'm pretty sure. And you want this to be even. You want it to be exactly the width of your thing. And you could make this a little thicker. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could make it like two things long. But I personally won't, don't want to, so he won't. And then you'll just want to break off the edges. And then boom. Next up, we have to have that filled in. You want to add the pickles. So, we just want to add, like, rows with spaces between them. And then... Looks a little different. Oh, yeah, because. Oh. And you know what? It doesn't matter. This actually probably looks better. So now that we got that down, let me just put the other bun on and then. Now this has. Now this one has to be filled up. And boom, there we go. That's our burger. But the final step is ketchup. And if you're, n I mean, I guess you could potentially use, use lava, but we don't want to burn the buns. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, you could use any of these blocks. I prefer the redstone block. So, um, uh, there you are. And if you're not like me and you're a mustard guy, then you could use either of these two blocks. But if you're like me, you're going to put ketchup on it because you are, absol are an absolute freak about ketchup. Just. I would mainly put them on in the ditches, but if you want to put them on in some other places like that, then yeah, that's cool too. Then boom. There we go. There's our hamburger. Now we want to make the fries. So all we need is one, two, three, four, five, six. I want a two by three base like that. Then build a little thing around it. So it doesn't really matter how high you go. Just make it. Don't make it like that and then make the fries coming out. That'll just be weird. Just make it high-ish at least. At the very least, make it like... At the very least, make it that tall. Oh, <laughs> forget I did that. But I kind of want to make this a little bit taller. 
And notice that it's hollow. This will save you a lot of time and work. So, I used, I used sponge on my other one, but, and don't use glowstone, guys, just don't. But, I mean, I guess you could use gold blocks. So, you could either use sponge or gold blocks. But, just because I kind of want to figure out how it looks, I'm going to use gold blocks this time. And you kind of just want to have them branching off in random directions. You don't want them to be like, you know. It can be a little sloppy, guys. Just... It's like one ring. that's pretty good not really the best in the world but yeah it's good so I guess that kind of wraps up the video I hope you enjoyed and and if you did then leave a like and if you really enjoyed it or you just want to see some upcoming vids then make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button no matter what you do and I guess that's it so I've enjoyed this time building, and yeah, President Peter, peace.